So, Kyle, it's one more Fire 4. Uh, you are more than experienced. With Jessica, some good moments, some sad moments, more sad moments. So, what do you believe about tomorrow? And do you think that the fact you had so many ups and downs that season and you weren't so stable will be better than you? Um, I mean, I expect uh I expect it to be a tough game. It's a very physical game. Essentially, it's going to be a, a rematch to, for uh, for us. Last year is a semifinal game with many of the same players. Um, so you know, hopefully, we'll come out and we'll be more physical, be more aggressive this time, and come out with a better result. Um, I think that you know this year has definitely been a little bit more of a, a, a challenging year for us yeah. because we've had some, um, like you said, some unstable moments. But um, I think that the fact that we're here and we're we're back with the, the fact that we're here, we're back with the uh, the same result. Um, I think this shows the character of our team. Um, it shows that you know we're able to uh, fight um, and get through fight through adversity. So um, you know I think it'll, it'll it'll show that we're battle tested and, and hopefully you know through our experience uh, throughout this year will uh, show positive tomorrow. Do you think that it's hard to make a plan stop Madrid because it's the team with the most players capable, like eight or nine, to step up and uh, win a big game? I mean, even more than that. I mean, they have a whole entire roster. I mean, they're one of the most deepest rosters um, in all year of league. Um, you know, they have players that have stepped up for them all, all year long um, in, in multiple different uh, uh, facets of the game, you know, whether or not it's scoring or defense or, or shooting or whatever. So they have the ability to do it all. So, um, like I said, for us in, in, in these type of games, it's not necessarily about strategy or X and O's. It's about the heart, the determination, the, the, the small thing about making winning plays. And I think those are things that are going to matter the most for us tomorrow. After so many Final Fours, how thirsty and motivated you are uh, to win again after 2016? Yeah, I mean, you get even more thirsty. Um, you know, once you once you experience the feeling of uh, once you experience that feeling of winning and winning a title, winning a championship, you want to earn and kind of feel, feel that feel that feeling and feel that experience again. So, you know, for me and for our team, and we have some guys here that experienced it 2016. We have some guys here that experienced the loss last year. So I think many of us are yearning for that and are hungry for that experience. And about you, you know, your, your career, mm -hmm. we know that you're afraid on summer. Mm -hmm. Now you have the Final Four, you are focused on this, but uh, do you have any priorities, you know what I mean, to stay or to explore your options? You know, we're from Greece and everybody asks if Heinz, you know, is thinking to get back one day, so we're obligated to ask, sorry for that. <laughs> well, um, I haven't even thought about it. I mean, I think for me right now, um, you know, the most important thing is, you know, worrying about right now, worrying about the present, worrying about the moment with my team, um, you know, playing here, playing with Cheska, and, and worrying about us, you know, our seasons thus far. Um, and I have two small kids, so I don't have time to yeah, <laughs> worry, about all, worry about all the The question of one million, yeah. how do you understand what's going on in Greek basketball? <laughs> Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's for me as a fan and me for me as a, a fan of basketball, number one, um, you know, it's it's, it's, uh, it's a little disappointing to see um, the efforts of you know, everything that's kind of going on there. Um, you know, I, I just want to see, uh, you know, great basketball, you know, especially with this rivalry between Olympiacos and Panthenegos. Me as a person that's experienced in, in playing in this rivalry, um, I know how important it is to the to the people of, of Greece and how important it is to the sports culture of Greece. So I think, you know, it's very important that they, uh, that they play. Um, you know, I think it's, it's 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 not only just about basketball. I think it's more than basketball. I think it's a cultural thing. So you know, for me, being there and, and understanding and having so many friends that are from Greece and having so many friends that are in Athens, having so many former teammates or former people um, that have played or have allegiance to both sides, I just hope that they uh, they come to a resolution so we can uh, you know see what everybody wants to see and that's good basketball on the court. And the last one, I want to ask you about uh, you know your team with Nikolaidis all the time. This is mm -hmm. summer thing, mm -hmm. but your predictions about NBA Finals, which um, teams? Who wins? Who do I want to win? No, um, no, who, your prediction? No, what do you believe? Who do I believe will win? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's hard to root against Golden State, obviously, <laughs> because you know they're, uh, um, you know, they're kind of a juggernaut. They've been winning so much. Who do I want to win? And who do my heart and my mind is pulling for? I want to see Giannis um, <laughs> after the Kubo win because, um, you know, I, I've seen his story. I've seen him kind of growing up from. Um, you know the, the lower divisions in Greece, and I remember him. You know, went out my time in Athens, and him and his brother and his family. You know, have been uh, you know so gracious um, to me. Um, you know, during my time there. So you know, I I love to see his story, and I want to see him. You know, um, you know, win it all. And I think it's very important, not only to him, but like I said, it's important to a lot of other people as well. So what's better, to be a center for 6.6 .6 or to be a point guard for 6.11? Uh, what's better in life? <laughs> <laughs> it seems like to be a point guard at 6.11. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, good luck.